where we're starting from is that Iran has already been adding barrels back onto the market. Since about the start of uh, 2021, they've added about 400,000 barrels a day in anticipation that there would be some kind of easing of sanctions under the Biden administration. Now that tracks with what we saw in 2016 when the JCPOA came into effect. Uh, for the first time, Iran was able to increase production quite quickly by adding about 750,000 barrels a day in, in a, about half a year's time. So if we did have a diplomatic breakthrough and all parties returned to the deal, we would expect Iranian production to creep higher, potentially getting up to sort of around 3 million barrels a day from about two and a half at the moment by the fourth quarter of this year. But even with that scale of an increase, we don't think that it's enough to really disorient or disrupt markets from uh, where they're holding right now and sort of the high 65 plus um, dollar range for the Brent market, at least given that we are expecting to see a solid demand recovery in the second half of the year. The big question I think will be if Iran is more freely able to export crude, will the rest of OPEC plus seek to bring them into the OPEC plus production agreement and impose a quota on how much Iran is able to produce? Uh, in previous examples where countries have endured militant uh, unrest or sanctions, uh, those countries haven't had to have a sort of cap or a target um, placed on their oil production. And I think there might be a little bit of pushback this time against Iran from some of the bigger OPEC plus producers to push back against fear that Iran could uh, overwhelm the market with additional production. Well, we think that oil prices can look pretty well sustained at their current kind of levels. So we're expecting to see them hold at around sort of a 65 to $70 range uh, for Brent for the rest of the year. We'll have to bear in mind what OPEC plus does. And we think that they'll be cautious to avoid adding too many barrels suddenly onto the market. So it's really going to be up to their monthly um, ministerial meetings to set the near term directory direction for prices going forward. Uh, on a longer term basis, though, as we get into 2022 and beyond, there still is an enormous amount of spare capacity out there, both within OPEC plus as well as some other commercially oriented producers. So if we had oil demand return back to its kind of pre-COVID trend where we were growing at say 1.2, one and a half million barrels a day, there's still substantial amount of supply volume out there that could meet that. So we don't necessarily think that we're going to have a surge in commodity in oil prices, um, at least on a long-term basis.